Hey, what's up everyone? This is Frankie with Meekspace.com. Today we're going to discuss method two for Android devices. Um, how to copy files from box.net to your computer and then copy them to a memory card that goes into your Android device. So let's get started. We'll want to first visit uh, box.net. Um, you must be a box.net collaborator already and uh, to find out how to do that you'll need to visit meekspace.com and read the instructions but once you're a box.net collaborator you'll visit www.box.net you'll log in with your username and password you should have a theocratic folder like you see here when you click on that you'll have all your theocratic folders and files today we're going to show you how to download and get the watchtower library working using uh, your memory card. So we're going to go into iSilo, then we're going to go into Watch Our Library. We're working with English today, so we'll go into English. You need to download all four of these files. The one that says full in the name, that's the full library, but it doesn't work completely without the one with the DX in the name, which is the index. Some of the links to it require the, the index. And then also there's two New World Translations. Some brothers pointed their links to the RBI-8 and other brothers used the longer name. So you got to have both files. Um, and remember all four of these files need to be in the same folder. You need to download them to the same folder because they all have to be there to find each other. So let's get started. We'll download uh, the uh, the full file. You'll notice here that it if, it, if box.net doesn't recognize the file format it won't be able to preview it or if the file is too big it won't preview it but you can just click download or in the right up here in the right corner you can click download so we'll go ahead and click download and we'll get that download started I usually don't do anything until I see that that is actually started downloading then I'll go back and and start a second one I think you can download a couple of files at a time so remember, you got to have iSilo installed on your Android device. So you'll have to visit the Android market, look iSilo up, and purchase iSilo and install it in order for the WatchTower library to run on your device. So that file is started, so I'm going to go back to the English folder. I'm going to start the next file. So the full version of the Watchtower library will not install on anything but an older Windows mobile phone or a, a Microsoft Windows operating system computer or you know an Apple running uh, Windows. So you're kind of limited. You have to use the iSilo formatted Watchtower library file which requires iSilo. Hopefully this next file will start downloading here and then we'll uh, we'll start the next download so there's our second one downloading so we'll go back to English and we'll download start to download on one of the Bibles now this method that we're about to show you is you know obviously first you download the files to your computer then we're going to use your external memory card that uh, goes to your device. Now a lot of devices don't necessarily come with an external uh, external memory card so you may have to visit uh, a website and purchase one or visit Best Buy or someplace and buy an external memory card for your device and then you can do things using this method. So that one's downloading so let's go back and get the final file. So this method, basically you just uh, pull the card out of your device. You'll have to put it in some type of a card reader and plug it into your computer so that you can access the, the, the memory card. And then we'll be able to drag the files over to that card so that your device will be able to use them. Sometimes box is slower one day than it is the next day. We do have 5,353 collaborators, and so our site is pretty busy. 
So there's our final file downloading. So all four files are downloaded. So we're, we're basically done with box.net. We, uh, we've downloaded the four files that are required to use the library. So we're going to minimize this. And now the next thing we want to do is find the files. My computer downloads them to a folder under my personal folder called downloads. And um, there's the four files there. So what we'll do now is we're going to take some kind of a card reader and we're going to put our memory card in there. Um, now here's one type of a card reader. It's got a USB plug-in on it and on the other end it, it's got a slot to put your memory card. And so here's my memory card. Now my device actually uses a smaller memory card but this adapter lets me plug it in there and it'll fit into my card reader which I can plug into the USB. Now another type of reader that you might have is like this is a multi-function reader that's got a USB cable on it but it'll it'll read multiple type of cards here um, but, but, but anything will work as long as you can get it uh, to connect up to your computer. So I'm going to hook up my memory card to my adapter and plug it into my USB port. And it found my memory card. So I'm going to open that up. And I've got a bunch of stuff on this card for modding our Nook colors that we've been giving the brothers. But um, there's a folder called Theocratic, which is where we put all of our stuff. So I, I have three folders, iSilo, PDF, and EPUB. So the stuff we get from JW.org, we put in EPUB because that's usually what I download from there. All your iSilo files should stay in iSilo. And then most of your other stuff is going to be in PDF format. So all we want to do here is we want to go to our four files and put them, copy them all. So I'll highlight them, right click on them, and I'll go down to copy. And then over here I want them to go into iSilo, so I'll open that up and I'll paste them. Now you could drag and drop them over too, either way. So basically, that's what we do to, um, to copy the files over there. And uh, then w once the files are on that memory card, you'll take the memory card out of your, your card reader and you'll place that memory card back into your Android device, whether it's a cell phone or a tablet, and start your device up. And uh, then at that point, you'll want to open up iSilo on your device, and you'll browse to wherever you put those files at on your folder. If you follow my directions, you'll have a theocratic folder on your memory card, and you'll open that up, and then you can open up the files. So. Now we're done copying them to the memory card. So what I'm going to do is we'll pull that out and we'll take our Android device. I'm just using a Motorola Atrix phone and we'll open up uh, iSilo on it. We'll put the memory card back in the device so that it detects it. And then we'll take the device and we'll open up iSilo. So with iSilo opened, we'll browse to where our memory files are, or our files we put on there. Mine's under a folder called SD Card External. That's how my phone sees my external card. And then I have that Theocratic folder we were looking at. And we'll go into iSilo, and then we should be able to scroll down and look at the uh, Watchtower Library files that we put on that memory card. Let's see, and there we are. So we'll go into Watch Our Library Full. So you notice there, there it is, and that's what the library looks like in iSilo format on your Android. At the top, you have links to examining the scriptures daily, the insight, the volumes for the Awaken uh, uh, Watchtower, the Kingdom Ministries, books, brochures, booklets. You got the uh, index and the concordance. And then here's all the books of the Bible that you can click on and you can look up a scripture on. And then, of course, everything has links. You can scroll down and go into things individually if you want. So 
that's how it looks. And basically that's a rundown on how to get uh, files from box.net to your computer and then copy them to a memory card and then open them up on your device. Thanks for watching this tutorial.